Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I just got back from the hair salon. I got my hair done. I haven't had my hair done since last year, so it's been a minute. Um, and so I decided that while I was out, I was gonna go and do a little bit of shopping. Uh, I have something being held for me at Chanel, so I wanna go and check that out. And then maybe I wanna see if I can go check out some of the other boutiques as well, maybe Louis Vuitton. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna take, so maybe that's a part two. So stick around for that. But yeah, I thought I'd take you along with me to see what's new at Chanel right now and see if there's some other things that I can pick up. Oh, and this is what I'm wearing today. This is my bag. I have my walk with me. So simple and easy to take with you when you're just out and about really quickly. But anyways, if you're interested in coming along, then let's go. Checking out the 21A pre-fall collection at Chanel, I was lucky enough to have my essay show me this gorgeous caviar classic flap in the medium large size in this stunning off-white or cream color. The leather for caviar was surprisingly really soft. I also checked out this mini rectangular in lambskin, also in a similar hue. And here you can see the textural difference in the leather. But what I really loved about both of these was just how beautiful that creamy, milky, white color was. I much more prefer this over a stark white because I feel like this is so much more wearable throughout the seasons. And of course, I couldn't leave without trying on the 19. Here is the 19 in the small size in tweed. For height reference, I am 5'1", and I feel like this fits my frame really, really well. I also tried on the medium size, and as you can see, it is definitely larger. And when you compare them side by side, you can see the size difference a little bit better. Again, this was in this light gray tweed material, and this was in a black and white. My essay also showed me these card holders on chains. As you can see, all you can really fit are cards in there and nothing really else. This one had a cute little handle on it that allows you to double up the chain or where it's single like my essay is showing me here. Of course, I couldn't leave without trying out the Deauville. Here's the one in leather, as you can see. I also tried out the one in the traditional fabric, which I actually really, really liked and I think it's now on my wish list. <laughs> And of course, you can't really leave Chanel without a little purchase. And here is the SA wrapping up my item now. I always loved how carefully and thoughtfully they wrap your items. And as we all know, half the fun of making a purchase is the packaging. And I can't wait to show you guys what I purchased. I decided to also stop off at Louis Vuitton and here I am checking out the new Kosen in these really bright and actually surprisingly beautiful neon vibrant colors. They are in a beautiful lambskin leather which was actually pretty soft to the touch and they come in gold hardware as well as silver hardware. Definitely much more wearable than you realize. My essay was also able to show me their one last mini pochette that they had in this beautiful leather. As you can see, they also had one last toiletry 15 in stock, which when you compare them side by side, you can see that they're pretty much 
about the same size i would say they pretty much hold the same capacity as well i would say that the 15 is a little bit bigger just because it doesn't taper off the way that the pochette does but of course we all love the chain on the pochette i mean just look how cute that is and of course, Louis Vuitton had their new collection out. As you can see, it's all animal print. Not necessarily my favorite, but I know some people love that. And look at this gorgeous leather Speedy 25. I decided to stop off at Bottega Veneta. I wanted to see what their newest collections were. And they had all of their signature items in this really beautiful array of warm hues and tones. Perfect for fall, right? I especially really loved this spiced pumpkin latte. Look how gorgeous. And if you've watched any of my videos, then you know I'm a sucker for green. And I especially love this sort of bottle green color. For Balenciaga, I will forever and always be a, a city girl. Look how cute this mini version is. I also stopped off at Celine. And right front and center, they had their nanos, which they're still really popular. And honestly, I see them coming back in fashion. Of course, you have the other classics like the box bags. This one here is in the large size. You can see the accordion style interior and this really gorgeous brown beige color. And then they also had it in a smaller size as well. Here is the Celine signature print. Not my personal favorite, but I know a lot of people love it. I also checked out some aloeve. Look at this unique handle. Haven't seen that before. And then to wrap up, look at this cute little aloeve puzzle mini. It's the size of my hand. How cute is that? All right, I just got finished. Did some damage. <laughs> uh, I might do an unboxing. Um, when I get home or I might save it as a part two. Overall, it was great to just kind of see what was in store. Louis Vuitton had their new collection stuff out. So that was interesting. Um, but I'm really excited about what I got. It was not at all what I was expecting, but you know, Chanel, if you see something, you might as well get it because you're not going to see it again. So really happy and I can't wait to show you guys what I got.